dearies. A few weeks ago, Llewellyn Worldwide had a sale, and I picked up a few decks that I've been eyeing. One of them was the Halloween Oracle, so I'm going to do a little unboxing flip-through video here. Um, I have gone through and removed the plastic wrap so that it just goes a little bit more smoothly. And this is the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco, lifting the veil between words every night. And I really wanted to get this because the I love Halloween. I love the Halloween season. I love autumn, everything about it. And these just looked like they would represent that. Um, this printing is from 2019. Experience the scariest night of the year every night. Unleash your inner monster and trick or treat your way into a connection with the most magical and scary night of the year, Halloween. Festivals of the dead, like Halloween, have been celebrated for thousands of years across many different world cultures. They serve to honor those who have passed and to celebrate death as a natural part of life and an opportunity to welcome in a new beginning. During Samhain, the ancient Celtic festival from which Halloween originates, the veil between this world and the next was believed to be at its thinnest. And so since the very beginning, Halloween has been an occasion for effective and potential, or effective and potent, divination, a chance to connect with the other side or get a glimpse into your future. These uh, cards are a lot of fun. Um, again, I took the plastic wrap off and I also took the plastic band off the cards, but I haven't really looked through too much. So this is my unboxing. Um, comes with a decent sized book. some nice um, embossing on the back and it matches the the backs of the cards so this book talks a little bit about Halloween um, how to use the deck dedicating your cards and then goes right into the cards themselves each card has some keywords um, almost a little poem Sweetest icon, risky red desire, poison and freedom, tempting hearts of fire. It's almost a spell. <clears throat> and then a description of um, how this relates to Halloween and the, the iconography and the mythology. I like how they all have a little picture of the card that is one of my problems with some of the other books. And I can read the card. I can figure it out. But I like when there's a picture. There's uh, several skull cards. Skull of darkness. Skull of flowers. Anyway, let's get to the cards themselves. So these are, again, a larger, kind of a larger deck. Um, the back is very Halloween-y. Very modern Halloween-y. trick or treaty, pop culture Halloween-y. But I do love it. Um, it's just fun. The cards are not edged, so that's something I will be doing in black. But let's start at the beginning. Ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. So Halloween, Day of the Dead, does celebrate our ancestors those who are no longer with us, um, with the silent suppers and things like that. So you can see kind of the DNA moving up the tree of life. Apples, very much a fall indication, and then with some blood coming off. Barmbrack, sweetness and energy. I'm going to have to look up what barmbrack is. It's a word I am not familiar with. That's the jack-o'-lanterns in the back. Uh, the black cat, which is very much on theme for Halloween. Cauldron. Dawn, light after darkness. And that's almost a um, solstice card there. Death, the death head moth. Reminds me of Silence of the Lambs. 
the eternal cycle begins here. So a transition of the moths. Eternal love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love is love is love, and it transcends physical death. Forgiveness. Ghost. Regret. Regrets that haunt us. Graveyard. Unnecessary fear. Hearth and home is always um, a big part of fall for me. Kind of drawing back into the home and making things cozy before winter. Invisibility and authenticity. That's an interesting combination. There's our jack-o'-lantern for protection. History is that the jack-o'-lanterns would confuse all the spirits I believe or something like that joy rejoicing in the present the colors are just gorgeous lady de los muertos acceptance and equality the lamp remembrance Ooh, midnight the most magical hour of all this is Change some lately in pop culture that 3 a.m. might be the witching hour, but midnight still has a lot of power. Mummy for change. Look at the pyramids. Night song. Oh, the owl, wise and nocturnal. Scrying. trouble with them sticking together a little bit. A skeleton for strength. Here we go with our skulls. The skull of darkness is blind spots. The skull of flowers creating through the ashes. Skull of light illumination. Skull of stars infinite possibilities. The spider. This is a theme that has come up a lot for a friend of mine lately with web weaving and creating her story and weaving her path. Trick or treat. Kind of an old style of costumes there. The underworld where all things pause and begin again. The pomegranate, very much the Hades and Persephone myth. For the Seasons, Vampire, Emotional Intelligence, The Veil, Werewolf, Exploring Wildness, Winter, which is of course the season we will be going into, The Witch, look at this picture, this is just lovely, all that energy in her hands, the earthly weaver of worlds. Sorry about that, I had a little technical difficulty. My candle was apparently a little too close to my phone and overheated it. Um, so I guess I will find out if I know how to splice two videos together now. Anyway, I was up to the zombie card. Control, um, which does make sense. So those are the cards. I like how they have the zombie, the werewolf, the vampire, kind of those movie monsters of Halloween, but then also more of the spiritual um, side of Halloween with the veil and the scrying, um, the lamp, some of the more mythology, legend-based, Samhain-based parts of Halloween. And there's also, you know, some practical stuff in here. So, these cards, I will be edging in black, considering taking the border off, but I'm not sure. Like, I think it would really make the artwork pop, but I also kind of like the black border, so I'm not making any big decisions on that. The card stock is... 
fairly sturdy. I think they're going to shuffle nicely. Let's find out. They are a little bit big for my hands, but I'm sure I will manage. Oh, yeah. Those give a great shuffle. A little overhand action. Yeah, yeah, these shuffle wonderfully. I just really enjoy them. I'm excited to start working with them. Um, I will probably pair them up next month with a Halloween deck that I have. So, a uh, Halloween tarot deck that I have. Um, because next month is October. And that will, I think, be a lot of fun. So, those are the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. And thank you for checking them out with me.